use your imagination. This is the second time we've ever played in front of people, man. We're scared shitless. The ultimate aim is to produce sound which is completely acceptable to the listener. Records that give you pleasure. I knew it. I knew that that was going to happen. Adrian. All right. <clears throat> Let me get my music going. God, OBS. Freaking shambles, my dudes. Properties. There we go. All right. So there's that. And you know what? We're just going to kind of sit for a second because I'm wearing a Udi and it is now super warm because I've been in freaking, as I said, shambles. Just trying to get everything going. But we're going. We did it. And there's something else. There's other stuff I need to do. I should have just pushed stream to 830, but I didn't do that. I need to do this. I need to switch to... My other Facebook, so we're going to be doing a little bit of behind the scenes stuff real fast. You know what's great about Facebook? Is when I go live, it doesn't push my own live thing to the front of my timeline. So I need to go and find it. <laughs> Share that. Cool. There's that. Nodies work. Nice. At least that still works. I need to sign into Tiltify. Hang on. Sorry, y'all. Introductions forthcoming. And then we'll play Hogwarts. Ah. <sighs> Campaigns. That one, Donations Plus, that got my update there. Now I need to go here. I need to copy paste this into Discord Nodies. And my streaming PC is chunking a little bit, which is not a good sign. I have my whole window open. And it's like 30 degrees outside. <sighs> okay, so hangar. We go to my Discord first. Click on my Discord. For the love of God, Discord, please. Going live notice. There it is. Click that. Uh, everyone. Hit send. Pipeline, that's all we need to do there. I don't know what I did, Cam. I think I'm just trying to do too many things at once. Um. Oh, Avast is open. My antivirus is doing stuff. Let's go. Stop doing stuff, antivirus. Holy. That's what it is, is antivirus is doing stupid stuff. Anyway, I think we're good now. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yep. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This is Copilot. Dasher will be joining us shortly. This is Ted and... <laughs> I don't even really need the antivirus on this computer. I need to... I'm probably good without it, to be honest with you. Um. Anyway. Last time... 
We started Hogwarts Legacy. We went for about four hours. We didn't get to Hogsmeade, which is part of like the first time user flow. <laughs> we kind of spent like two out of those three hour, four hours just exploring. So we're going to actually hard focus on getting to Hogsmeade this time. Getting my wand is the word I'm looking for. Getting my wand. And then we're going to keep doing stuff. But if you're just in the chat, say hello, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow, share, any of those things. I did not spend an hour with character creation, Cameron. Do not slander me, my dude. Or libel, I guess, because it's in writing. Either way, don't do it. I spent like 15 minutes on character creation tops, and five of those was trying to figure out what to name myself. <laughs> Fist of cuffs, Cameron. Ah... <sighs> Now my heart hurts. My chest is sore. I was very quick because I also looked at character creation ahead of time. So I knew kind of what I wanted to do with it. I prepped. I was ready. I was much more ready than I was for this one. Walking dogs then test. Okay. It does also help that the character creator sucks. You are not wrong. No. Um... My chest is sore because I downed a coffee and then really quickly ate some chili and then was doing all this stuff. And now I'm getting heated. Lord, how you doing, man? Welcome to the chat. This is me yelling at my mods and then we're going to play some Hogwarts. <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> all right. Gerd? Do you mean nerd? Cameron, come on. I was not yelling at Baking Fiend. Baking Fiend was one of the only ones that I was not yelling at. I was yelling specifically at Cameron. <laughs> I, I technically can, honey, but I don't. <laughs> I choose not to. It's not heartburn. I think it's, it's really just... Too much caffeine and excitement all at the same time. But all right, let's play some Hogwarts, yeah? Unless unless Cameron says something that it may also makes me want to yell at him. Three, two, one. Okay, Hogwarts times. We All right, audio there. Well, do I have my audio? I do. I can hear, and we're good. Half the fub. You know what half the fub is, Cameron, is your typos. <laughs> oh, that's cool. No idea where that is, but that's some cool looking bones. <sighs> Deep breaths. I didn't talk about fundraising, so like always, we're still fundraising for Kitsune. I don't know who Kitsune is. Oh, it's your cat. Duh. We're still fundraising for uh, California Wolf Center. Links to that are in the pinned message on all the channels, as well as in the descriptions on YouTube and the panels on Twitch and description on Facebook. There we go. That's the word. I don't... There it is. I'm just looking at the conversation that's happening between these students, and one of them's like... I just snuck... I, I once snuck... is a Ravenclaw. I once snuck into the boys' lavatory, which takes me back to the last stream, where you can just do that. You can just walk into whatever bathroom you want. Bing, bang, boom. Where do I need to go? I need to go this way, question mark. Or is this the way down to my common room? I don't actually know. Nope, it's this way. This is the library. Yes? Question mark? Library. No, I don't know where I'm going. Quests.
That's the one. Griffey has Sally. Oh, good. There is only the one way out of the library. That's fine. I'm finally. I'm gonna give in and use the use the map for now. I don't like to use the map. I realize you guys can't see me using the map. This way? Nope, not this way. Now I want to know what's over here. We're not going to do it. We're not going to explore. We're going to go this way. Hey, armor dudes. Revelio. I hear a thing. The hot professor is this way. Sweet. What? <laughs> Where is the dinging happening? Right here. Kitty cat. The greenhouse layup. <laughs> Wooden statue bears the likeness of Penger Dawn. What a name. Fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. It's most untoward if you ask me. The things leave on you. I feel I'd be safer if I were being schooled by rookies. If I'm on Revelio. I hear another ding. Where is it coming from? Hello. Looking for me? I know, you can't pet the cat. I am looking for you, but I also want to find stuff. I've always said the travel. Travel broadens the mind. I know you've told me six times already. Be kind of nifty if that... Does it? Does it turn to face me or does it turn to... Yes, it does. I thought it was just spinning and I, th I was about to say that'd be nifty if that skull turned to face me. Now I'm slightly concerned. Rebellion. Is this it? Yep, there it is. Goblin artifact. Oh, this is the thing that people were trying to t say was a uh, Japan during winter. I would also like to go to Japan during winter. This is the thing that people were trying to say was uh, racist against Jewish people because it's a horn, and you know Jewish people have used horns before. It's so dumb. They're like, it's a specific kind of horn. No, it's literally just a horn. But anyway, enough about dumb people trying to say dumb things about this game. Shofar, thank you, Nate. Scorch marks. Oh, no. Allegedly the location of the first known instance of arguably successful casting of Bombarda. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Cameron, everybody used horns. Literally everyone. Had horns of some kind. Let's immortalize the untimely death of someone. Yes, it's... I mean, it's a cautionary tale. Really. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna run up these stairs. I'm gonna go do the thing and go to Hogsmeade. I did say Hogsmeade or bust. Oh, there's a thing right here. We're gonna grab this and then we're gonna go. Broken broom. Oh, no. Celine Wartnaby is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. Oh. Oh, no. Another cautionary tale. And another immortalizing the untimely, eh, untimely death of something. She tried to apparate to the moon. Well, anyway. You're right, I did level up. Oh, there's another thing right here. Is this just the Hall of Untimely Deaths? What's going on? Flattened armor. The set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglethorpe. What a name. The Heedless is now headless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. This is... <laughs> to the moon! <laughs> But yeah, this is just the Hall of Untimely Deaths. Anything else? Right here. Are you guys also Untimely Deaths? 
Cameron, the door's right there. I'm getting there. I keep casting Revelio and I keep finding other stuff. I am going to go to Hogsmeade after I read about the Three Sisters' Bells, which are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyllshire. That one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ring of fears. <laughs> Crypto, yes. Some kind of crypt. All right. One more Revelio. Do I hear any dings? I do? I'm not gonna look it up. We're going to, we're going to Hogsmeade. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. <laughs> you must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. Yeah, that'd be nice. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Oh, she's a Gryffindor. I knew that. What was that? I just imagine, I love thinking about NPCs just kind of standing there, waiting for the player character to come talk to them. So as I'm running up and down the stairs and everything, she's just waiting for me. Quidditch pitch! Oh, please add Quidditch in a, a post-launch update. Please, for the love of God, add Quidditch. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Rebellion. Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. I think she likes me, chat. The timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. <coughs> oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in God, this is so rooms. cool. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I will look at the map now and see all of the blank space. Ooh. There is a lot of blank space. Oh, there's so much blank space. Oh, this is going to be fun, you guys. All right. Back to it. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. I love, okay, I'm going to stop for just a second. I love seeing little stuff like this, like the, it's gone now. It just flew away, but it was, a. Uh, there it is again, the little plant watery guy. Cause okay. if you look at it, it looks just out of place enough that you would normally think it would be a bug in a game. Everyone it's like, why is this here? At Christmas, but that's one of the few but now it's here because I magic. Be <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. <laughs> oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Do I oh, need lacewing flies? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Revelio. <laughs> oh, right. I don't know why I had PlayStation controls on the brain, but that's why I was standing over here jumping. Is because I saw lacewing flies. X to collect. Yep, Nate, you got it. What? What in the Alice in Wonderland is going on here? That's so cool. Okay, anyway, moving on. Forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. Oh, those are... I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. I want one. I would like a hippogriff, please. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely all Two lips. Name? Oh, that's right. Prance hoop and sugarfoot. Hold on. Yes, he. 
Huh? Cameron, check your typos. What? That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? She the says it's off limit, and I beg to differ. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I'm about I confess, to. I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. Kestrels. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Where'd she go? Oh, hi. Do you have the Steam Deck or your... I do not. Nate does. Ask Nate about Steam Deck stuff. Weasley's already preparing me to take my transfiguration N-E-W-T. Just call him Newt's, dude. It's painful to be in a half-transfigured state. I rather enjoy transfiguration myself. The complexity, the precise nature of it, truly something to be admired. Uh, it's classic Gryffindor talk. Professor Weasley is a marvellous teacher. Never requires us to write more inches of parchment on a topic than necessary. <sighs> Everyone knows you can't conjure food. Haven't you heard of Gamp's Law? If I can just stop vanishing my notes when practicing Evanesco, I think I can get an eye on my transfiguration OWL this year. And it is bothering me on a visceral level that he is saying OWLs instead of owls and any WTs instead of newts. I get that that's what they say. I am eavesdropping, yes. I'm eavesdropping on this very pompous Gryffindor over here. <laughs> now we're walking away. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Oh, the lake. We're going to go to the lake. so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? She does not follow me. I still miss my homeland. We'll go to the lake later. This is beautiful here, too. And getting out of the castle and exploring <coughs> helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I envy these video game characters being able to run in, like, robes and stuff without getting stupidly sweaty. Cat! I will pet the cat. What? Oh, that was his magic that he's working on. Eh? Oh, that's the way I'm supposed to go. Revelio. That's Revelio. I'm remembering the controls. Off we go. Huh? Wait. That's a bear claw. Is there bear stuff over here? What's going on? Puff skin. It is known to be wet and cold. You are correct. Humidity would usually make me sweat worse. I'm a bit. Okay, never mind. We're going to go this way. The game is like, no, shut up and go to Hogsmeade. All right, we're going. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? No nope. pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie guy. I don't know what those are. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. 
Nearly there. The outside of the castle walls, not just something. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such. I completely forgot about Akio as I was running around picking up stuff earlier. Thank you. Revelio. Hogsmead. We made it, guys. We did it. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey. Are you the same one earlier? Okay. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain. That's where the Weasley's joke shop's gonna go, right there, you guys. In a hundred years, there's going to be a joke shop right there. I think. Or do they open it in Diagon Alley? I can't remember if they open it in Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley. Yes, man. Said that you need to get potion recipes, hey, spellcraft, some seeds. There's my dogs here. A new wand. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. and I am. It's Diagon Alley. Well, never mind. That building looks like where their joke shop goes. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore. That's where Zonko's goes. That's what I'm thinking of. Zonko's joke shop. At your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Oh, the joke shop is there right now. Never mind. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's the stream. Good Enjoy. job, guys. We'll see you Saturday. I'm just getting all my stuff mixed up, huh, guys? Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guides map. Okay. Hey, bubbles. It's a very good boy. Okay. What? Hi. They were thinking of buying Zonkos? That's right. Hey, big guy. Can you lay down? Hi, right, boys. We're gonna be here for just a second while I pet my dog. Because he's being needy and pawing at my leg every time I stop. Give me guys statues. Okay. So I suppose we'll find out what those are. Baby phone saying, all right, dude. No sweat. Meantime, I will put on my, my hand, guys. <laughs> Press X to pet the dog. Do not jump. Yep. He would be very unhappy if I decided jumping around right now. Hey, Buckle. Okay. Between work and streaming and my hands being always on a computer or on a mouse keyboard or on a controller, my wrists and fingers are not happy at all. All right, where are we going? Spent which is sporting needs, nice. Ollivanders. We're right next to Ollivanders, so that's where we're gonna go first. I would like my wand. Rebellion. We down there. Okay. 
ค่ะยูร์วันเดอร์เวทส์เซส Hey dude. Revelio. Oh, there's a thing. Money, noise. That's totally mine to take. Don't worry about it. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, Cypress Wood. About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, Ten and three quarters saying, inches, unicorn hair, poor. Olivanders, the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Olivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. It's supposed hmm. to be ten and three quarters. You might do. I thought. Yeah, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Nope. Okay, cool. Oh, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh no! <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps, yes. A rare wood. This one's also going to be wrong. Inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Also going to be wrong. I know what my wand is supposed to be, and 13 inches with dragon heart string is. And... Oh, oh goodness! Not it. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. There it is. Thank you. I'm excited. Extraordinary! <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Feels good, man. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. I thought it was the fine, Cam. Right will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I like that they didn't do. Ah. Uh... Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand Sorry, shall only him. grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly. In a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Olivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. So, I get that it's probably a little cliche to like go through and trial and error ones, but I did like that they did those differently than, say, uh, what Harry did. 
Like, the explosion of fireworks was cool. I liked that it was a unique take on the just making stuff yeet itself off the shelves. Rebellion. Oh, you're having a hard time over here, my dude, huh? The inside? Where's that ding that I'm hearing? All right. I question Bingle and Blatch, what are you? Can I go in you? Yes, I can. Don't mind me, just gonna have the tea. Rebellion. I guess this is not a store I can really do anything with it, but it is nice that you can walk into it. This is cool. Okay. Zonko's Joke Shop. <laughs> Wonder who keeps those dungeons stocked with their foods and whatnot. Suppliers of fresh produce, seems to fertilizer, that's cool. Abandoned old building. The old fool, is that the shrieking shack? Hold on. I need to know if this is the building that becomes the shrieking shack. So I just passed a guy who said, was the knee reversal curse really so terrible or something like that? And... Really, as someone who's had some pretty heinous injuries to his knees, knee reversal does not sound good. What are you up to now? I'm petting a cat. Oh, this building is what becomes the Shrieking Shack. Hey, leveled up. I have not done any of my leveling up stuff yet. Is this... wait, hold on. It might not... this might not be. Unless I'm at the wrong building, which is also possible. Yeah, I'm at the wrong building. This way. Oh yeah, this is absolutely, yep. The old fool. Rebellion. New school robe, neat. Lumos. Okay. I'm good. Revelio. Okay, maybe it's not here. 
Lumos. Thought it would be. I thought down and to the left would be a good spot for whatever thing that they... Yeah, I'm fine. I'll just walk it off. Rub some dirt on it. I'm a wizard. I shouldn't take fall damage. I remember the story about how Neville's grandmother almost dropped him on his head out of like a third story window and he just bounced. I should just bounce. My innate magic should just bounce me. Okay, we'll come back to Shrieking Shack later. Um... Local tea shop. Do I just kind of have to go everywhere? Yeah. Tomes and Scrolls, J. Pippins, Magic Neep. Okay. Beast Supply Shop. Do I get... Do I get an owl? At some point? Because I'd kind of like a barn owl. Or brown owl. Brown owl. Big burly brown boy. Oh, here's the neep thing. I need to go here. Rebellion. Do I already have an owl? Okay. Well, hello there. Hello, Timothy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, I forgot oh, she wanted me to do that. The new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. That's me. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty wrong. of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Nate is a but Slytherin. What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. We'll sell my stuff here in a second. Any seeds need those? Thank you. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Don't know what I need, so I'm not going to buy anything yet. Rebellion. Okay. We're going to... Not what I wanted to do. Challenges. Indeed, Hufflepuff. Salazar Slytherin was certified hardcore badass. Take your word for it. Oh, the Hufflepuff was just really chill. <laughs> um, equipment is what I want to do now. That looks pretty cool. As does that. We'll run this for a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll look more like a... We can do this first, and then we'll... change its appearance to look like... this one. So, Nate, you said all of these stick around, uh, even if I sell the stuff that they look like? Cool. Ooh, 
Cool. Oh, that's cool. It's got... Oh, it's got owl wings. An owl on it. That is also cool. Ooh, that's a tough one to decide between. I think I need to take the owl one. That looks cool. Okay. Mighty fine hat. We're still going to stick with this guy, though. Yeah, but they still look cool. Okay. Okay, here we go. Revelio. There is stuff in that house, whoever's house that is. Lumos. Right, I can't open those guys yet. Never mind. Got him. Do, 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 do. I think there should be a fishing mini game. Just throwing that out there. Rebellion. Ooh, hog's head. Nice. Dog's head. Wait. Why is there docks? Oh, okay, I guess there is little boats, huh? Hogwarts, Hogwarts, Hoggy, Hoggy, Hogwarts. Teach us something, please. And that's the only thing I remember from that song. I do always think there should be fishing mini games, and that's because there always should be. Ooh, that looks cool. Embellished Cobalt Overcoat. Ooh, that looks cool. We'll save that for later. I'm tr I should stick around and have a have a school look for a little while. That looks like Newt Scamander's cloak, I think. We do you want to make a Metroidvania based exclusively around a fishing mechanic? Zev, I appreciate it. How you doing, man? Zev the Seder, that's a great name. Welcome into chat, bud. It's all about the swag. Rebellion. Okay, we're gonna focus on doing stuff. I'm vibing? I'm vibing to you, bud. I'm trying to not get distracted. So this is the second time streaming this game. And uh, it went for four hours the other night, and I did not get to Hogsmeade because I got so distracted just looking at the looking at stuff. So now I'm actually kind of trying, sort of trying to to get through the game, you know? Yeah, we're gonna do stuff. Ooh, shiny! That's been me the entire time. Harry Pippin is this guy's that? name. Oh, thank goodness! When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before. You have either. not. I have no it's idea who you are, my dude. Need, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? 
I apparently need some potions. Me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside. Yeah, I am multi-streaming. So I stream to uh, um, Twitch, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Twitter all at the same time. Which is cool. I always forget to check Twitter though. Rivals, anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. No worries, man. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I yeah, I have the potion recipes I sell. I have the restream bot set up so that people in other chats can can see the. And I unveil new ones from time to time. <laughs> Shut up, Nate. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for Me, now, more absorb. Let's get you those recipes. Shall Robot. We? What can I do for you today? I think it's been. It's been fun. It's been nice to be able to just kind of let people watch from wherever they want to watch from what do i need i need wigan weld potion recipe that one they do ed Roos. i didn't read what that was i didn't hear how that was actually pronounced so we'll just say the ed potion causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer skin helping for them from oh that's cool rock skin Feel potion to take a look at the rest of my inventory or come back another time if you're in a rush today yeah, Zev. That's that was the like. I like that. I like it for the being able to do that. But that's also why I have it uh, popped up on the screen there. I know it's a little hard to read on the on the screen, on the stream itself. But I like to have it there. Um. Now, do you have anything else shiny in here? You have a thing over here. I suddenly want a cup of tea. Hold on. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> oh my gosh, Zev. Heck yeah, dude. He is, that is what he's named after, Uncle Screwtape. Screwtape letters. We're the first person uh, besides him to know that, which is awesome. Nate, I read everything that you say, Nate. Come on now. Oh, I'm really glad that I can operate this whetstone. Oh, cool. I was like, I don't need a whetstone because I have a wand. That's fun. Rebellion. All right. Where else do I need to go? I need to go to... Do I have to go to Hog's Head? I don't think so. <laughs> I confess I have not read the screw tape letters, but Nate, uh, Nate and I worked together for a long time um, testing video games. We worked on Worked on a game called uh, Crucible for, uh, together for a while. And then briefly New World? Question mark. He's a secretary to Satan. Oh, I need to read that book. I just I should, I should just need to read all of C.S. Lewis. I have so many books that I'm trying to read. Um, I'm working my way through the Witcher books right now. And then I'm going to be reading Lord of the Rings. And then I'm going to read The Silmarillion. And then I'm going to read Lord of the Rings again. And then I'll, um, I've read, did I read all of Chronicles of Narnia? I don't think so. I think I read the first three and then the last one, because I did that in middle school and I was dumb. Neat. <laughs> Ooh, a cat. Nothing's wrong with Chronicles of Narnia. I just haven't read it yet. I hadn't read it all the way. And when I say I was dumb, it was because I skipped all of the books in between the first three and the last one. So I need to go back and read those two. Mistborn is a great series. I've heard, you're, you and a bunch of other people have recommended Mistborn to me. 
And it's definitely sort of been on my radar. Oh. Cam, did... I read that differently. Cameron, did you mean to never read it? Or did you mean... That you've never read them? Did you say read or read? God, the English language. <laughs> I know screw tape's not from Narnia, yeah. I'm just thinking of other C.S. Lewis books. There's also his sci-fi one that I think you've told me about multiple times, Nate, that I need to add to my list. To read. Okay, Cam, I'm getting more confused now. Oh, never... Hold on. <laughs> they are very different sentences with the same exact words. <laughs> um, where do I need to go? Never read C.S. Lewis books. Wait, Cameron, you are not helping. <laughs> Give us more words. Are you saying I never read C.S. Lewis books or I have never read C.S. Lewis books? God. Cameron. Please. Don't laugh. I need you to answer me. Where do I need to go? I need to go to Tomes and Scrolls. Okay, where is Tomes and Scrolls? It is... I never have read C.S. Lewis books. Thank you, Cameron. That's all we needed. <laughs> and now we're all on the same page, as it were. <laughs> You should, Cam. Very good writer. Obviously, one of the one of the ultimate fi uh, fiction writers. You thought <laughs> this was a bit? No, we were all just confused. An inquiring mind. I am gonna. I don't know how long this has been going on for, but I'm gonna try and make a video out of this, though. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. Oh, there's a page over there. I'm going to grab this page. Okay, I know I'm getting distracted. Didn't know he's a very devout Christian. I think he's got- he has essays on, on his faith, too, and I think I need to read those also. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. Hey, Thomas. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Abolition of man. Ah, but you will soon enough. <laughs> it is magic at its purest. Creating something... Like, you don't think it is until you, re like, you sit down and think of about it, and then you can really see the... Complexity. The allusions but to that it. That is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly <laughs> useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, Let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your I'm, own I'm just listening to this guy. What you want. Letting him talk. Want. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's look at what we have, shall we? <laughs> yeah, she is. She lulls you into a false sense of security. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Thank you. Okay. Piece of design feedback. I don't like that the spinning circle slows down when it gets to the end. Like, if you watch it as I'm holding purchase, it slows down once it gets to the final, like, half or final third of the thing. And so I judge the speed based on how it starts. 
And then I keep not holding it long enough. Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. We're going to go find Natty in a second. I am going to look real fast here. Ooh, there's a thing. <gasps> oh, that's cool. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to walk around your shop for a second, dude. This looks like it's mine. <laughs> Kid was very annoying, and yes. <laughs> I've never heard a phrase like that. And it's, you're right, that's the exact illusion that's happening there. But I've just... I've, I'm laughing because I've never heard someone refer to Aslan directly as Jesus, even though he is the... The parallel there. The Ice Queen kills Jesus. Alright, where am I going? I need to go. Skyrim loot vi Skyrim vibes? It really does. Which I'm fine with. Um, I... So the thing that I'm gonna do that's kind of... Uh, useless is... Games, when I... Like, if I can't... If I... Sorry, let me back up. If I can sell everything to everywhere, basically, like I can sell my... Please don't auto-interact. I need to go in here. Like, it, it breaks the immersion for me if I can sell clothing items to, like, the potions guy. So I'm going to the clothing store to sell my clothing items. Maybe? Can I talk to you? No? All right, can I talk to you? Can I talk to anybody in this store so I can sell my clothing stuff here? No? Okay, cool, thanks. Gear slots are full, what? But my gear slots are full, Nate. <laughs> Fine, I'll go sell the, ooh, it's got keys on it. That's neat. Okay, well, I'll go sell my... I'm going to grumble indignantly as I go sell all my, my clothes to the potions guy. I'm going to grumble indignantly about it. See if I can remember how to get there by memory. What are you? J. Pippin's potions. Yep. Hey, J. Pippin, hope you don't mind buying do fifth year today? clothing. <laughs> what am I dropping my mixtape? I would love to drop a mixtape. I can make one work of just my stutters. Oh, wait. I need to put that on because it's better than what I've got. Um, gear. Don't sell the greens. Don't, Nate. <laughs> you told, Nate, you told me to sell everything. Don't you tell me don't sell the greens after you told me to sell everything. Oh, God. Well, it's too late now. What can I do for you today? Unless I can buy it back. Nope, they're gone.
Unless I can auto save. Unless I can load something up. Um. I'm not going to worry about it. They're just gone. We'll worry about it later. Be more diligent about that on my next playthrough. Oh, whoops. Here's the thing I forgot to do, which was make this that guy. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite. Zev, I just saw the follow. I greatly appreciate it, my guy. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick My audio cues are not working. This OBS did stupid stuff when I signed on today. Okay, hold the hell on. What? Why? What? Why is there an armored troll? Counter offer. We just use about a cadaver on it. Oh my god. Alrighty. Ow. <laughs> Troll in the village. Are we weakening him at all? Well, his health bar is going down. I'm forgetting. I... Why? Why is guard not X? Okay, can't 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 block that. Good to know. Okay. This is fine. Ancient magic throw. What? I don't know what I just did. Red ones you can't block. Good to know. Warts legacy. Ooh. Ain't... Kamehameha! Oh. I killed a man. He's dead now. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourself? Mostly me. I suppose Don't so. you try to give it's her credit. It's mostly me. Honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. And we were glad Trolls will not be tolerated. They help is a bit of an understatement. Not really, this like is that. just the backstory to Twitch mods everywhere. Aura, if you ask me, if you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer, officer Singer, and thank you again. I love she's like, would you help me put things back to the way they were after I just yeeted a bunch of stuff from around the village at this thing? Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Eh? You the clothing shop guy? Yes, you are. 
I have to do this though first. What am I supposed to do here? Aurors? I could! I will refer to you guys as my Aurors for, for Hogwarts streams. Oh, that's right, I forgot I had this. I forgot that I had Reparo. Thank you. One less thing to offer is a singer to worry about. It's not like there's a village full of people that could also do this. Reparo. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Something like that. Ooh, there's a thing that I can loot right here. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. Ooh, those look cool. Repair. Oh no, I think I remember that, Nate. Just talking about oh, for sure, Nate. Horror game would be awesome. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I'm watching the I string on his help. glasses, and I'm waiting Frankly, for it to dip into his tea. Merlin. But I can offer you something... Much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you. I'm not going to turn down free That's robes. Very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Scarf is on keezy mode. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that it's having me do this like I haven't. Like I don't already have better stuff. an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Butterbeer sounds nice. Broomsticks. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. But first, I need to actually put on my good stuff. Oh, those are cool. Those make me want to play football, because they kind of look like the gloves that I wore during uh, football games when I was in college. NPC looks like the wolves from the Tenth Kingdom. That is a reference I do not know. Assuming 
it is not too busy, you Those might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Hey, that sounds good to me, man. Ooh, those are cool. We'll wear those for a little bit. Tree broomsticks. You got here quick. You have seven hours to dedicate to it? I can. At some point. Ooh, he looks shady. <gasps> it's this guy. They said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, you have <laughs> no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Panicking breathing. Did they see us? I don't think so. You have to assume they did. With Victor Rookwood. Van Rock did they? Working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. I don't remember who Rookwood is. I remember hearing the name. Don't remember who he is. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a... Rookwood was not a goblin, he was right? a dude. Ranrock was the well goblin. Done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. There's no Death Eaters in this game, Cameron. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh, oh. time, name. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend Bye. is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh, everyone's on the same page. Okay. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. There's only one bit of bloodshed, and that was me blowing up Can't a troll. Confess. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Go over to Hog's Head. Can't drink butterbeer forever. That's what you think, dude. I could absolutely drink butterbeer forever. Try me. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. I already promised to not tell anybody anything. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Excuse me. Rebellion. She says go back to the castle, I say explore.
As I hear the chimes somewhere. Can I get up here? Are there steps somewhere? Am I missing something? The steps are right over here. Yep. Yep. More stuff. Money, thank you. Money. There's another Rookwood? Okay, so there's that's why I'm confused. It's because I heard I've heard about the other Rookwood. Rebellion. Wait, was he the was he one of the prof was Rookwood the name of the professor we saw in the flashback? Yes? Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I can't open that yet. Never mind. That's an interesting bit of lore. Yeet. Never mind, I can't jump in here. <laughs> I was going to jump off the, the balcony. Is it nighttime already? Oh, never mind. I was like, how is it already nighttime? And I remembered it's because I had a full day of classes. Then I went to Hogsmeade. Now it's nighttime. All right. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. You Professor should. Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Must return to your common room for the night. I can do that. I wish this was not Gamepad as mouse. Where is my... I don't know where my room is. Okay. I don't really want to fast travel, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. I don't typically like fast travels in games. They break the immersion. Hello, owl. You're right, I do have an owl. Look how cool he is. What should I name my owl? Well, I can't name him in the game, but it's the principle of it. Dumbledore. Oh, neat. Come and see me. Okay. All right, Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. That would be cool, Nate. That would have been awesome. God, Hufflepuff just has the coolest common room. You can't change my mind. Um, what did I need to do? Quest is where I was going to go. I do remember her being a squib. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go talk to Secret Dueling Club guy real fast. After I finally actually do my points and stuff. Never mind. I don't have talents yet. I have I have leveled up to like eight or nine. And I can't do talents yet. That's fine. Everything's fine.
Revelio. That's right, I did that already. After a specific story quest, I kind of figured. Wait a minute. Where is this? Where is this door go to? Where is the thing? How nice to see you, my young. It's up there. Oh, the, the hourglasses. They are not presently in the Great Hall. Interesting. Same with the hippogriff. I figure. I figure all of this stuff will unlock because I do story stuff. Rebellion. Okay. Four, six. One, two, zero. Okay. So, wait. This one needs to be a poor looking guy. Five, one, so five. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five. The head crab. Cool. Here we go. You can't imagine how inconvenient. I can very much imagine how inconvenient travel was before flu power, because you've told me seventeen times already. Revelio. Solar protection goggles. Let's go, baby. That sounds like sunglasses. Yep. Ooh, those are cool. We like those. Do we like those, though? Those are funky looking. Now I'm torn. Hey, Dasher Man. Dasher has done what he always does and has laid his head right next to the wheel of my chair, so I'm very, very stuck. We'll just keep these glasses I was wearing for now. Guys, I don't think... Oh, there is some stuff in the bottom there. Okay. Alright, you are really, really overzealously hyped up. This is the start of the term, my dudes. There is still time for somebody to cock that up. Rebellion. We're not going to get super distracted. We're going to focus and we're going to go... Well, that sounds like a Slytherin problem, dude. Classic Slytherin wanting to meet mermaids. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. Huh? What? Well, I'm confused. Also, why does this look like a bottomless pit? Oh, because there's that's just that far down. Cool. We're not going to go there yet. Can't do that puzzle? Okay. Thank you for telling me. Revelio. Do you know me? If I see the puzzle, I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing until I figure out how to do the puzzle. Whew. 
<laughs> oh, wait, hang on. What is the purple leading me towards? Oh, towards my marker, because that I haven't taken away. I'm dumb. Anyway, you can go away now, marker. Lumos. That's right. I think I remember where that is. I think it's over here. Somewhere. Oh. Oh dear. That was uh, a fella ghost being led by being chased by a lady ghost. Travel broadens the mind. She had an axe. <laughs> One ghost was chasing another ghost with an axe. Not a thing I'd ever think I'd saw. See? Words? Words are hard. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Rebellion. This bridge makes me think about the bridge uh, leading from the Kokiri Woods to Hyrule in Ocarina of Time. Haunted toilets. Oh, that'll be fun. Hey, peeves. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you might be late. He tried to stop me, did right on his top, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. I wish I could but shoot him. He failed us, did his containment charms, so Don't I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privilege. You forgot one of your books, dude. Handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. He did. To draw Twice. A contract with her, not with him. That if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. We. I'll get you for this. Hey, your books, dude. Hey, my guy. Your books. Your books, dude. Are you gonna you gonna get your books? Nope. We're just gonna we're just gonna give those up. Yep. Revelio. We're in the women's laboratory again. Everything's fine. Nothing sus about me doing any of this in here. A cake? What? Why is there a... What? There's a cake. <laughs> Nicole, I don't know if you're looking, if you're watching the stream right now. But there is a cake. In the women's bathroom. That is not what I expected to have happen. <laughs> Lachlan the Lanky. Statue picks the wizard. The cake is a lie. You're right. That's my bad. I should be... I should not be telling truths. Telling untruths. 
I will not tell lies as Harry got branded into his skin. Thunder Wizard who appears quite proud of himself. All right. Revelio. Region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides. Ooh, cool. Oh, there they go again. Well, alrighty. <laughs> Off they go. Oh, this is cool. This little painting band. What? Oh, what? Hold on, huh? I do also wish there was a dancing moat. Watch the step, yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. That actually looks really cool with my wand. We're gonna use that one. And where? Oh, those are neat. Okay, so I need to go this way. Do I? What? Did I go completely the wrong direction here? Accio. Levioso. Lumos. Repero. Okay, that's something for later, I guess. There's a mod where you can carry around. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Why? Lucan's just over there. Clock tower. Whose man's is this? Oh, hey! I actually didn't expect that to work. Revelio. You. I do have a bouncy ball. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. Brattleby is this guy's I name. Duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. By impressed, you mean wiped the floor with him. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Yes. Interested? I am interested. Bring of on course. the dueling club. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. I say Besides, having dueled once. In cross wands, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Yes. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Oh man, you are an, you're an angry Ravenclaw. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Ow. Oh, I see. There's a charge time. I just yeeted a barrel at this dude to win. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back oh. here again. That was fun. Wrong button. Is it cool? Okie doke. Moving on. Let's go see Professor Fig about whatever Professor Fig wants me to see him about. Revelio. That appears to be another door that I can't do yet. Off on another adventure, are we? Ooh, side quests. Whoops. Didn't actually mean to fast travel. I thought I was selecting a different map. Never mind. I'm just going to go around real quick and pick up some of these other flu powder locations. And then do some side quests. Rebellion. Oh, I can't believe I missed this one. Pair of portraits. Oh, that's cool. Can I do that? Nope, maybe not yet. Cool if I could, though. Inconvenient travel was before I Why do students always run when PC wants to have some fun? Thank you. Can I ever do anything to Peeves? Let me listen. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're going to have to listen to her congratulate herself a lot more times, my dude. Okay. I also need to open my window back up because I'm getting warm again. Let me make sure I'm not There we go. Okay. Oh, hey! I just realized I haven't actually been in here yet. What are you up to now? Oh, just looking around We're the Great Hall for stuff. Totally not doing main quest lines. I don't know why you'd think I would do something like the main quest line. Daring Cloak. That sounds fun. <laughs> the passive aggression is great. This enchanted lectern serves as the spot from which the great headmistresses and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Oh, that's great. Revelio. Where'd it go? I just saw it. There it is. Yink. Happiness. Alrighty. Where are we going to go to next? Did it not set a waypoint for me? There we go. <laughs> I just love everything about this game right now. And you go this way. This way to the stairs. <laughs> Sylvia Pembroke, who are you? You have a name, which means you're more important than the other NPCs around here. Resource indeed. You're not wrong. That's a good way of phrasing it. Where is this? Where am I? Whose man's is this? Oh, same. Absolutely same. Kelpie statue. Shape-shifting water demon. Yep, I knew about that one. Revelio. Okay. We're going to go back this way. Ravenclaw Tower, Grand Staircase Tower, Trophy Room. We'll do that one. Oh, a Trophy Room. Why do you want me to go this way? Revelio. 
Revelio. <sighs> I was thinking about kind of that same thing the other day, Nate. And I look forward to getting a hippogriff because I was thinking about the Prisoner of Azkaban game on the GameCube. And there is a point during which you can fly Buckbeak around and it's winter in Hogwarts. And that was one of my favorite things of all time. It was like I played the game, I beat it. I then restarted the game and flew and just got to the point where I could fly around Hogwarts on a on a hippogriff. And that was that. Hey, Mothy dude. Oh, good. There is a winter part. That was actually going to be my next question was, does do you get to a point where the seasons change? That makes me very happy to know. Oh, I should probably actually get the page. Hey, honey. Yes, I did. We'll have to either back up the stream or I'll find it again somewhere later. But there was uh, I went into another woman's restroom. Sounds real bad out of context, but in one of the stalls, there was like a, a freshly baked cake. Time only progresses with the main story. I kind of figured. Where's the where's the door for this thing? It's right there. OK. Um, 13 plus the head guys, which is. Zero, one, two, three. Excuse me. Sixteen five. Head crab dude. Head crab. One eight four zero one two three four owl looking thing. Only in game, Cameron. <laughs> Only in game, and it's only because the game lets me. And they also hide stuff in there, so I have to. Ooh, that was cool. Don't you loot me in with other people, with other degenerates. That about tracks. Oh, yeah, how'd the test go, honey? <laughs> Nate. Hey, I found the Raven Claws. Revelio. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Got it. Mind the staircases, they like to change. Yep. Um, okay. Three plus nine. Twelve, seven. On that one. That's the one. Where's the next one? There it is. Uh, 15 plus 2. 17, 6. Newt guy. Yeah, if they moved like... The, like, I get it. If they moved like they did in the books, we'd never get anywhere in this game. 
Lizard guy. Ooh, white pinstripe scarf. That sounds fun. Revelio. Ooh, fancy. I don't see what's daring about this cloak. Well-appointed cloak with a Gryffindor flair that will inspire you to gather your courage. Well, I'm not a Gryffindor, so that sounds not good. Yeah, I think... After a certain point, it would just be contrived with the moving staircases. But at the same time, it's like... That's about as long as it would take you as a, as a student to get used to the moving stairs. There we go. I realized that my legs are starting to fall asleep, so I'm going to step up and walk Dasher real quick. So we will take a quick break. We'll be back here in about five minutes. Y'all don't go nowhere. BRB.
And we're back. I'm sorry, I stepped away right as you got here. But we're back. I just need to get my glovies back on. And then we're going to be... That's the wrong hand. Is it? Or is it just backwards? That's the wrong hand. And we'll get me right back into Hogwartsy stuff. I did, I did get through Hogsmeade earlier. Despite my best efforts to be distracted, we made it through that part of the game. And now I've just been kind of going around Hogwarts looking at stuff. I also realize I have not been wearing my, my wizard hat this whole stream. That's inside out. Oh yes. The Udi is definitely as comfortable as it looks. I have slept in it most nights since I've gotten it. It's just big and warm and soft. And if I stand up, it'll look like I'm not wearing pants because I have shorts on underneath. And it goes down to about knee height. Yeah, man, there you go, Nate. Yeah, I just I put a hex on my wizard hat to make it look like my my typical Pittsburgh Penguins hat. Good cover. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty. Did I turn down my audio? No, I did not. Let's see where we're going next. I'm in Ravenclaw Tower right now, I think. Ish. Somewhere nearby. Somewhere near that. I just walked past Ravenclaw Tower. That's right. Now we'll go the rest of the way up to the trophy room. Dude just looked like he stuck his head out the painting. That was almost horrifying. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Always, always on adventures. Does this go up more? It does. Who are you and why are you at the top of the stairs? This should be reserved for somebody super important. I don't know you. You look kind of pretentious. Okay, this way. This is the way we need to go. Revenue. <laughs> Some important witch wizard? Yeah, but I would like to know why. 
control armor. <laughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. They really need to limit the amount of times that she says stuff. Rebellion. It's obviously fine, but she just says the same things over and over. Goblet of Fire. All right. Neat. I have leveled up again and still cannot do anything about it because I haven't gotten that far in the main story. Or mod it. That'd be funny to be able to mod it to make her say different stuff. House Elf Armor. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a mod to mute her? Well, I don't want to mute her. There was one to just... kinda... reduce the amount of stuff that she says. That'd be fine. Revelio. Oops. I walked right past it. Centaur armor! Oh dang. Yeah, that was what the that was what the lore bit said, Cam. Is that uh the uh the wizard gave his wanted his house elf to protect him in battle, so he gave him the armor, not realizing that the armor could be considered clothing, so as soon as the house elf put it on, he snapped it and left. <laughs> Revelio. More dings. Is that in the middle there? How nice to see you, my young friend. What's this then? Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology. That's cool. Ah, uh, that's fair. Mirabelle Garlic. Oh, she's the teacher. We haven't met her yet. Rebellion. What are you? Go to trophies, dueling trophies. Cool. Anything else up here? Nope. Off we go. Hey, he just let out a very big, very indignant grumble. Waypoint. Thank you. I'll go right there. Someone pointed out that... Oh, like before he starts as a professor? Rebellion. That's pretty cool. Oh dear. Before he starts his schooling. Oh wow, okay. That's even cooler. Revelio. 
Game is 1890. He starts in 1892. That's super cool, man. That'll be cool if they continue to like update this game with more stories for sixth and seventh year. And then you end up meeting young Albus Dumbledore on his first day. That'd be super cool. <laughs> Is it night time still? Yes, it is. There's all the staircasey ones. Okay. We'll go ahead and go to Astronomy Wing now. And we will go... Right here, so we can grab... <laughs> Jared. <laughs> true, though. Very true. Revelio. Grindelwald would also be around here somewhere. That's a house elf. And he's gone. Never mind. He's gone. Why do I have to wait here? Hang on. Where's my save button? Oh, it's in settings. That's right. Chat broke again. Did it? You're right, he did. Oh no, it, it's back. Unless, what am I missing? Hey, Cam. Did I miss something, Nate? It looks like everything's here. Yeah, Cam, I see it. <laughs> also true. Ron's was the, the puffy shirt from Seinfeld. You didn't get the Ron message in YouTube chat? Jared typed it in YouTube chat. I see it. Okay. All good. Okay. It do be late. It's past Nate's bedtime. Oh, you got another 8 o'clock tomorrow morning? Sag. I need to go sell stuff. I might flew powder back to Hogsmeade real quick to sell stuff and then come back. Actually, 
What? The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Oh, because it was it is nighttime. Well, I'm gonna change up the plan a little bit, and we'll go do uh. We'll go talk to what's his face, Fig. Real quick, and we'll come back and do side quest stuff later. I'm starting to get too warm again. Yoink. Tomorrow feels like it should be Friday. Granted, every day this week has kind of felt like it should be Friday, what with the fact that my... My last day on my current project at work is Friday, and I've just got senioritis super hardcore. Oh, I have to wait for all of them, because it's supposed to be daytime. And it's nighttime. Cam overlay is a picture frame? I could do that. I actually get a five-day weekend, Cam, because I'm taking Monday off. And my next work day is until Thursday, because I'm doing a Thursday through Friday, Thursday through uh, Monday schedule now on my new project. Rebellion. No, you're good, Cam. Don't worry about it. I'm going to do something dumb. And that is because I don't like the fact that, like, I'm here's why I'm dumb. Because I have the option to just stand in his office and wait. But I don't want to do that. It has zero bearing on anything important that I don't do that. I still want to. My in-universe reason for not wanting to do that. So I don't want to just stand in his office. This is not my room. Mine is the one to the right of this one. Working healthcare, yay! No, I get it. I'm hoping that with the new schedule, there's going to be fewer days where I have to burn PTO. Do I have to just wait? I guess I have to just wait. I can't just go to bed. Oh, I am going to need to do that, aren't I? I did not think about that. Yes, we will have to reschedule when we do game mechanics. Open the map and wait. Oh, neat. Thank you. I love that I have my bed right here, and I just sat on the floor. They really should have let you wait from the bed. I'm, su I'm su very surprised that they didn't. If that's the case, then I'm just going to come wait by the fire every time. Is 
That'd be fun. I would run that mod. Okay, now that it's day daytime, we'll go ahead and grab all these side quests real fast, and then we'll go talk to, to Fig. Off on another adventure, are we? Hey, Cam, you have a good night, bud. I might. Mm, we'll see how how big of an endeavor it seems like Fig wants. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Don't know what this means. Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm Nelly, by the way. I must have I'm done, Nate. <laughs> so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? When the I was Dedalian fifteen, I would be able to do that. Surely you've seen them flying about. No, I haven't. The rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. That's cool. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. That would He's track. a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. I would expect there would be enchanted boxes Surely that poltergeists couldn't get into. The challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Okay. -doke. I'm going to look at my inventory real quick. Because I need to get rid of... Sorry, my gear. I need to get rid of some stuff. Because I'm holding almost full. It doesn't look like these have any reason... Why I shouldn't be able to sell them. So I think I just sell everything that I'm not presently wearing. Unless... Nate, what's the story on these things that I shouldn't sell? Should I... Okay. More equipment slots? Okay. So why should I not sell stuff? I've got nines and an eleven here. Should I just sell all the nines? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go do that then real fast. If it's green, it's better, and I should put it on. Hold on. See, now I have questions. Right. Like, I'm looking at the... 
I've been back. I, come on now. <laughs> Welcome back, man. But yeah, Nate, so it's like, I see the green 11 right here, but it's also down on the 17. So I, I just, like, I don't understand why there's an 11 that's better and a 17 that's down. We need late dinner. I am really hungry, though. Right, but I'm asking, like, kind of what they do. Oh! So, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I got it, okay. So, yeah. I thought that there was something... I thought they meant something different. If it thinks it's got half a chance, a werewolf would be on you. Ask, I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. <laughs> Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> he was explaining level of the year because I didn't understand what was going on with it. I got confused. I thought that the there were different uh Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I thought there were different things. Well aren't we the loveliest of them all? And I don't say things I don't mean. Alrighty. So all that's sold, we're gonna flu powder back to school. Barber is by the play sales guy? The what? Plant sales guy? Okay. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Ah, uh, no worries, Ike, man. How'd your stream go? Were you, did you also stream Hogwarts tonight? Might some kind soul help me? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Nope. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh. I have the option of I'm sorry to hear that. Nate. <laughs> I have the option of I'm sorry to hear that and why does everyone hate you? I feel like I'm sorry to hear that. It's kind of like an aw shit, that sucks. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles grand game and if you lose they spread that would be a good idea Nate. liquid I like that gobstones sounds like a fun challenge that's what I tried to tell everyone 
People can be so cruel. Hey, good shit, Ike. because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst... Avalanche should losers. hire you for game design Everett's and then they should hire me as a producer. As well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Oh, uh, I could see that happening. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackson oh, cool. by myself in no time. I did get my wand in, in game. I'll show it to you. I'm feeling very proud of it. And without a handle, that's what it is. Cypress unicorn hair, 10 and 3 quarters, slightly springy. And then I've got the saber hilt on it. It's freaking cool, dude. All right. Um, who else do I need to talk to? Nate. Get that it's late. Don't, don't be doing this. <laughs> oh, that would be incredible. If you're sure. I'll be tested too. Huh? You already know the dates of every goblin rebellion that hasn't even happened yet. Good to stay in top form. Then I shall test you both at the same time. That won't work. Oi, can you help me? Oh, this guy. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. This sounds made Following up. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Definitely made up. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Two maps, both leading to locations around. Sure, why not? You come out and do a live stream of some blacksmithing? Hey, that sounds fun. Yeah, let's offline it and set something up. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Come Actually sounds in. like a lot of fun. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay. This map tells me almost nothing. I'm thoroughly confused by this map. Oh, you can just give me my Discord, too. That'll work. I 
I don't think I actually have Nate's number. I think we do everything over Discord. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have no idea how that map works, so we're not going to worry about it for now. We're going to go talk to, to Fig. This way. Revelio. I hear a ding. There's a ding that I haven't gotten yet. I think it's inside there. Never mind. Not gonna worry about it. We're gonna go talk to the professor. Suspenseful music. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. That's what I just the said. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would Hey, no worries, Ike. I appreciate you. The three broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. Give yourself a good night, if man. Ranrock's My next stream is going to be on Saturday. Are after you. They want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? Excuse me. I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Okay. Curmudgeon Cafe Podcast, that's such a great name. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I really do. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. I don't Curmudgeon I Cafe. Do That's a great name. Back. Okay. I do think my left my left hand slash wrist is really starting to hurt, so I think I'm gonna have to actually call it there for the night. Which is just as well. I think most people have gone to bed. So we'll hit a little save. Oh, that's very cool, man. I will tell a quick story and then I'll I'll sw I'll I'll call it after I tell this quick story. Um so my when I was in college I had a class that was postmodern poetry and uh the teacher Ray Ronsi had written a book and one of his uh one of his friends wrote one of the recommendations for it basically 
and the and the the little blurb said Ray Ronsi is a curmudgeonly old bastard, and that was what went into selling his book. So anyway, curmudgeon is one of my favorite words. And with all that said, good night, Ike. Good night, Nate. Good night, anyone else who's been hanging around. I appreciate all of you. If you are in the chat and you have not yet hit the like, follow, subscribe, share, or any buttons on whatever platform you're on, please take just a second to do that. Like I say, the next stream is going to be on... Sweet. Sounds good, Ike. Next stream is going to be on Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with more Harry Potter. And that's all I've got for tonight. Thanks, everyone. Until next time, this is Copilot signing off.